What happens when you sell 100 fake games to GameStop? Do you get arrested? Do you get banned from GameStop forever? Or do you just get kicked out? This was the most awkward video idea to film in this channel's history. I feel awkward just watching the video again. Hey guys, Tyler here, otherwise known as uh, Tyrone. Today we'll be buying 100 games at GameStop, opening them up, taking out the actual game, discarding those games, buying fake discs and putting them into the game cases, and then selling them back to GameStop, getting a quick little laugh, and then we're gonna buy the GameStop employee whatever game they want at GameStop to compensate for our negative karma at GameStop. Let's go to GameStop, shall we? Time to buy the 100 games at GameStop. After browsing for the cheapest games at GameStop, we collected a sum total of 100 games. We brought up all the games to the register and the amount was a humble. Four, 2073, signing your paycheck away. Yep. There you guys go, Thank have you. a great day. Appreciate it. We got the games, time to move on. Well, folks, now we need to make these games fake. And then we snagged some empty CD discs to put in our video game cases that we just bought. We got everything we need, folks. We just need to use some DIY craft skills to make this happen. Come with me. Here are all the games we bought. Now we just need to take every disc out of them and then put in empty discs. Time to get to work, folks. Here's a little close-up of every single game we bought at GameStop. PS4, Xbox One, Xbox 360, and PS3 games all littered throughout this pile. Okay guys, all 100 games are chilling right here. I'm gonna keep this one right here, Dark Souls with the aluminum case, because it looks legit. We only got it for five bucks. Thanks, Mr. Pete. I'm gonna put this to the side. But what we're gonna do here is open these bad boys up, Take the games out of their little yellow sleeves here, put them to the side, and then insert one fake CD disc into the case. We're gonna do this with all 100 games right here. We're gonna keep them in this orientation to look like they may be actually legit games, but when you put them in, there's nothing on here. We're going forward assembly mode, just putting the empty cases right next to Sony here. He's gonna go hand. And our mission became increasingly more tedious. We basically extracted every game from their respective game case, took those games out, put them to the side, and then we put a fake CD disc inside of the game case to create 100 fake games. Looking back though, this is probably one of the dumbest methods of creating a quote unquote fake game. It's 100% obvious the game's fake, but at the same time, I want it to be obvious so that they don't call the on us with the idea that we we're actually trying to sell these games to them knowing they're fake so we're walking across a fine line here of making it obvious enough for it to be somewhat funny but not compelling enough for GameStop to think we're actually bringing them there with the intent of selling them to make money and leaving because that's not the goal here we're just trying to make a quick little joke okay what do we have in here Sody? we have one blank CD disc right here we took out the real game put all 100 real games on this little blanket here in their own little sleeves and now we have 100 fake games, basically the legit cover art right here, but we just have empty disc inside. We're gonna go to GameStop. He's gonna take a look at one or two maybe, then we're just gonna reveal that we're just trolling, buy him a new game, negate our negative karma, move on with our lives. Should be interesting. Uh, we're definitely not gonna get a nickel for these games, but his reaction will be priceless. Also, just for sake of big numbers here, we have a total of 100 games that we paid a total of $420.73. Saved $157, not bad. Let's go try to sell these CD discs in game cases to GameStop. All right, that's it. That's all 100 games in the car. Let's go to GameStop. Oh, minus Dark Souls 2 with the aluminum case. Too cool to even consider selling. What a beauty. Okay guys, here are all the games in the trunk. GameStop's right behind us. Sody's gonna get these games in stacks. I'm gonna ask them if they do trade-ins. They're gonna say yes. I'm gonna come out here, give Sody the cue. He's gonna start bringing in stack by stack by stack. We're gonna initiate the exchange. We're gonna try to sell these games knowing that they're not gonna give us any money, obviously. And then we're just gonna say, just a, a joke. And we're gonna try to buy the guy game as a token of our appreciation for trolling him for views. So hopefully Hopefully he accepts our token of gratitude and this all goes smoothly. So wish us luck. I'm gonna go inside and ask them if they do trade-ins. Okay guys, you're about to hear what the GameStop employee had to say about our fake games. But because of her response, I have to put a voice filter over the sound of her voice so her voice is not distinguishable and I will not be showing her face in any of the cuts. And I'll basically be cutting the frame into a tiny little square so none of the employee's faces or voices will be heard or seen because they didn't want to be on camera. While using a heavy voice filter combined with ambient sound, we can replicate the conversation to an almost light life-like degree. Just watch. I have a question for you. Do you guys do trade-ins? Yeah, okay. Okay, for sure. Uh, 
Um, some Xbox 360 games and some PS3 games. Are you looking for Starfighter or Pat? Um, I guess we'll see how much I get, I guess, in that case. Uh, my friend has a few in the car, so in that case, I'm gonna tell him to come in here with the games. Is that cool? Okay, Sonny, she said they take trade-ins, so let's see if she'll take any of these games. Let me close this behind you. Alright, let's go for it. Yeah, we just got these at a garage sale, like, a day ago. The guy said they're all working condition and whatnot. The guy gave us, like, a crazy deal at a garage sale. It's pretty weird. Like, how much do you guys pay for them? Well, like, 20 bucks yeah, or something crazy? Bucks for the box. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we'll see if they, I Hopefully they work. <laughs> that one has a CD. It's a CD? Also has a CD. Yes. You serious? We're, we're just messing with you. No, they're all CDs, yeah. Okay, folks, we just got kicked out of GameStop. Yeah, at this point, I, I suspected a reaction similar to that. We've gone pretty hard on GameStop the last month or two. Reaction's probably not gonna be that good. We're sitting here trying to figure out a game plan. I really am tired of going to GameStop, but at this point, I feel like every GameStop in Central California is somewhat aware. The lady asked if I was Tyler, so that's a bad sign. Uh, <laughs> well, folks, this has got to be the biggest video failure of all time. So I flew all the way to Hawaii to find a GameStop that didn't know who I was. I hope to Jesus the Hawaiian GameStop employees don't know who I am. Why the hell are there penguins here? Hi, doing well. Head to GameStop real quick. Okay. Alrighty. Alrighty, folks. I made it to GameStop in Maui, Hawaii here. I don't know how I can prove it to you. There's some tropical plants behind me and whatnot. Let's get a full view here real quick. Um, yeah, I guess this is the best I can uh, show you. Um, hopefully this helps right here. Anyways, I went into GameStop. It's the first GameStop I've been to in Hawaii. Oh, yeah. I traveled all the way from California to come to GameStop, basically. <laughs> Just to ask you guys, have you heard of this character by the name of Tyler Oliveira? Mm. No? Okay. Interesting. I'm sorry, what game is he from? What game is he from? Uh, he's from this game called like Red Dead something or another from my understanding. Uh, maybe, yeah. Okay, and is this the one that has Tyler Oliveira in the game? What was the last name? Uh, I think it's like Oliveira, like like aloe vera type deal or something like that. O-L-I-V-E-I-R or something like that. She didn't know who I was, nor did I pop up on her Google search. Thank the heavens. Alrighty, thanks so much. I'm gonna go find that Tyler Oliveira one. Thank you. Alrighty, folks, they don't know who I am. Thank Christ, there's hope for me. If someday I wanna move out of California, go to another state, another country for that sake, I can escape the wrath that is Central California GameStops hunting me down like the vermin that I am. She didn't even know who Tyler Oliveira was. She was about to Google my name, but I told her to search Aloe Vera. So that's the end of that saga. Let's get out of here. I was no longer on GameStop's hit list. And for the naysayers, I decided to ask a bunch of random people where we were to prove that I actually went to Maui. We're on Maui, correct? Yes. Okay, alrighty, thank you. Yeah. Okay, alrighty, thank you. We're on Maui, right? Yes. Okay, alrighty, thank you. The island of Maui? Yeah. Okay, alrighty. Yeah, we're in Maui right now, right? Yep. All right, Maui. all right. For sure. <laughs> no. And then I return back to the mainland via plane. It's time to get out of here, folks. I'm ready to leave. Mahalo. I made it back. Ah, GameStop, a place of childhood joy and excitement turned into my mortal enemy and destroyer of my financial stability. But in all seriousness, that's the last video I plan on ever making involving GameStop whatsoever. I have no interest in interacting with GameStop in any fashion, and quite frankly, I wouldn't be surprised if their archaic, prehistoric dinosaur of a business model crumbles within our lifetime, or perhaps within the next decade. And for those of you who have been watching this channel since the dawn of its inception, I'm sure you understand that this video was a form of playful revenge, if you will, against GameStop, the establishment that has taken down, I think, four to five of my own videos. I don't care anymore. And quite frankly, GameStop has ushered in a new age of this channel, an age far different to the one in which it was involved. You see, I have many ideas, ideas entirely unrelated to GameStop, entirely unrelated to video games, entirely unrelated to everything I've done before. Enough of the theatrics.
But in all seriousness, so to give GameStop a little final goodbye and to give them a little bit of business, I want to give you guys the chance to get a video game of your choice, whatever it might be on GameStop, you know, beneath the $60 range. Let's keep it modest here. So if you want a game of your choice, whatever it might be on GameStop.com, then I want you to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram at Tyler Oliveira Official and follow me on Twitter at Tyler underscore Oliveira underscore and you'll be entered in for a chance to win the free game, whatever it might be. I'm going to pick one of you at random i'm gonna dm you on either twitter or instagram so make sure to follow me on both and i'm gonna pick one of you to get whatever game you want on gamestop.com so that's basically whatever game you want deuces guys no.